Please welcome to the stage, Dave Hill! Hi, how are you? I'm incredible, thank you. Thank you. Um, my, I, I opened for uh, Snoop Dogg recently. Yeah. It was pretty cool. All right, I'll tell you. Um, no, so Snoop Dogg was doing, uh, he was doing a show in Austin, Texas at uh, Austin City Limits, a moody theater, like legendary venue, really cool place. And the, so the show was supposed to be Snoop Dogg in a local Austin soul band. You're like, well, that sounds like the greatest show ever. Like, you can't make that any better. But then I guess the promoters were like, no, let's take this to the next level. What if we get a comedian from the suburbs of Cleveland on the show? And um, <laughs> so they call me up. And they're like, Dave, do, we, do you want to come down from uh, New York and open for S Snoop Dogg? And I'm like, yeah, no one in my family's ever done that before. <laughs> I, my dad's going to be so proud. That's why. Grandpa fought in the war. And uh, <laughs> so I get on a plane, I fly the fuck down there. And, um, and I, I get to the theater and it's sold out like 2,000 people. And admittedly, like, most of them are like post grad kind of like investment banger types, but the cool kind that still keep in touch with all the guys in the frat. And, um, <laughs> and they're out just rocking, you know? And, uh, so I guess er, I, I go backstage and backstage is like packed with people milling around, and I'm like Snoop Dogg's nowhere to be found. I don't see him anywhere, but his massive security guys are everywhere, and they're just these like the biggest guys you've ever seen, like genetically modified to guard <laughs> the fuck out of Snoop Dogg, and uh, they're just kind of walking around with this cool kind of air of like calm but also menace in like a really cool way. And uh, I'm like, that is awesome. And, uh, and it, it's like showtime. And I'm up first, so the stage manager's like, Dave, come on. Yeah, it's time to go. So uh, he leads me out to the side of the stage. And the lights go down. And like 2,000 people are like, yeah, fuck yeah. It's just time for the Snoop Dogg show. I don't know if Snoop's coming out. But if he's not coming out, I bet one of his really cool friends is coming out. <laughs> and, and I'm just standing there on the side like, let me at him. And, um, and I'm waiting, waiting to go on, like, come on. And, uh, and before I got there, like one of Snoop Dogg's like massive uh, security guards like walks over to, over to me and he's like, excuse me, who are you and what are you doing? And I'm, I'm like, I'm Dave, I'm the comedian. I'm gonna start the show. And, uh, and he's just like, hang on one second. And he walks over. <laughs> And he talks to like one of the other massive security guys, and they're kind of looking at me, like pointing up and down, like I don't know either. And uh, and then he just walks over and he just goes like, "Go for it." And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Thanks a lot, Mister. You're not gonna regret this." And uh, they turn the lights up, and I I start walking on. Two thousand people are like, "Yeah, what the fuck is this?" And and so I start going into my act, and like even like under the best circumstances, when the crowd is on my side, like it's not for everyone. I get that, and uh, <laughs> but this is definitely not my crowd. So I think they were just like, what, "What?" I guess I think they just thought I was like a roadie, like testing out the mic for like a really long time. They're like, "Oh, he's really having trouble dialing that in," and. Um, <laughs> And they just start going back and like talking to each other like at full volume. And normally like when you're doing comedy, if like two people in the audience are talking, like it's like, really distracting. But if like 2,000 people <laughs> are talking at, at like full volume, it's like a ne negative experience for the performer. And uh, <laughs> But I just like, uh, you know, just like forged ahead and got through it and said goodnight. And then the soul band comes out and they're awesome. And they finish and I'm like, all right, now it's time for the Snoop Dogg concert. I can't wait. And I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I'll go out in the crowd and I'm gonna go out to Snoop Dogg. And before I can though, the stage manager's like, Dave, uh, we need you to go out there 
and uh, do another set. And I was like, well, how long do you want me to do this time? And he's just, he's like, well, see how it goes. And I was like, we know how it's gonna go, motherfucker. Like, they hate me. He's like, just get out there. Do you know, so he's, I did like, another 20 minutes. Um, but before I go out, so keep in mind though, before I go out, so like, he's like, just get out there. And, uh, and like, so the lights go down again, right? And at this point, 2,000 people are 100% certain <laughs> that Snoop Dogg, one of the greatest rappers of all time, one of the most famous human beings on earth, is about to walk on stage. They're positive. What else could possibly be about to happen? That Snoop Dogg is gonna come on stage. So the lights go down again, they're just like, and the lights go up and I walk out there. And if you thought they were disappointed the first time I came on to, this time they were just like hurt. They're like, you motherfucker. And, uh, but I, I got through, I got through this uh, finish and, uh, and then I go out there and then it's time for the Snoop Dogg stars. So I'm like, oh, finally I'm done. I'm gonna go out and uh, I'm gonna watch Snoop Dogg. So I go out in the back, uh, back of the, the venue and like Snoop Dogg comes out. It's like 10 o'clock at night. We're indoors, he's wearing sunglasses. He doesn't give a fuck. And uh, <laughs> he's got a hockey jersey on, there's no game. And, uh, <laughs> and he just starts doing all his songs. You know, he does like gin and juice, drop it like it's hot. And all the other, whatever the other ones are. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple times he just like, will just stand there and, and like tell the DJ to play a song. So the DJ's like puts on someone else's song and he just kind of stands there. And like you're like, well that sounds like cheating, Dave. And uh, <laughs> but like for example, like he put, he, the DJ plays I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett. And you're like, well yeah, that's like a really great song. But trust me, when Snoop Dogg is standing there doing absolutely nothing <laughs> while it's playing, that's the best fucking song you ever heard. <laughs> And he did that like a few times and you're like, I don't, he did it again, it's incredible. <laughs> and then like he's got these girls that run around and they shake their butts and that was really nice. And then he's got uh, like this guy with like a big dog, like a mascot head, like a dog's head and he's getting people even more excited uh, than they already were. And, uh, and then every couple songs, like the guy with the dog head on would strap on like a six foot long like dog dick, like stuffed animal dog dick, and just start whipping it all over. He's doing helicopters. He knows what I'm talking about. And um, he's just whipping the dog dick all over them and just like throttling people, and smacking people. People are like flying all over the place, getting hit. And you're like, well, that sounds horrible, but trust me, if you're there, you're like, I was just like, get all the way, I wanna get hit by that dog dick. And I'm like, go up to the front, I'm just getting th just throttled, like whipped around like a rag doll by this this massive dog dick, you know, and I'm like fading in and out of consciousness. And finally I was like, I, I had to take a break. And um, so I go uh, to the back of the venue and I'm standing there, you know, watching Snoop Dogg in the back. And this, uh, this guy walks up to me and he kind of looks like a villain from like a John Hughes movie, right? Only now, now he's all grown up and has like a job and stuff. And, uh, and he's like, uh, hey, uh, you're that guy that was up there, right? Like he doesn't even say like comedian or even performer or even roadie. He's just like, you're that guy. And I was like, yeah, that was me. And uh, he's like, so what was the idea? What did they tell you to just go out there and confuse everybody? <laughs> and I'm like, well, no, I'm a comedian. I was just, I was just doing my act. And he's like, no, drop it. Tell me the truth. Do they just tell you to go out there and make everyone really uncomfortable for a really long time? And I'm like, no, like I'm a professional comedian. Like that's what you saw. I travel all over the world and that's, that's how I make my way in life. And, uh, and he's just like, uh, yeah, well, uh, me and my friends didn't laugh once. And he just kind of backed away and I was like, could have done without that. Um, <laughs> And then I was thinking about it and I was like, maybe he's right. Maybe the reason I was asked to do this show was to just like kind of stretch out the night and like keep the bar open and make people so uncomfortable. They're like, oh God, I need a drink, you need a drink? Oh, I can't. So and I'm like, maybe that was the thing. I'm like, maybe I should just start marketing myself that way. Like, 
double your bar business. Hire Dave Hill. Like he'll drive everyone to drink. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, this suck, kind of sucks. I feel kind of used. And, uh, and so I was like, oh, I'm just going to, after the show, I'll just go get my bag and I'll go back to the hotel. So the show finishes and I'm, I'm kind of bummed out. And I go backstage, and I was like, well, I still haven't met Snoop. I have to meet Snoop Dogg, right? And so I'm waiting around, and, and like, everyone's leaving. Like, the, it's like almost, and people are like sweeping up around my feet. And I'm like, I know Snoop is still here somewhere. I got to meet Snoop. And so sure enough, finally I hear like, doo -doo -doo, and it's like the, the <laughs> security guards are like Jurassic Park, right? And like, like, there's a glass of water by me, and like those rings are going, you know? And I'm like, oh my god, he's coming. And, um, and so I walk over, and the security guard, the guy that had talked to me by the side of the stage, he just goes like, I walk up, and he's like, who are you, and what are you doing? I'm like, I'm Dave from earlier in the story. And, uh, and I was like, who's, what do you want? And I was like, I, I was wondering if I could get my picture with Snoop, because I'm in my 40s. And, uh, <laughs> and he's like, no, you, you can't get a picture. And I was like, come on, man, this, this sucks. Like, I had a really bad night. Just let me get my picture with Snoop. And he talks to the other security guards, and they're like, all right. And they kind of part ways, and Snoop just kind of levitates forward. <laughs> and he's like, got this like beatific glow and everything. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, Snoop, I, I'm the comedian. I opened the show. I was wondering if I could get a picture. And he's like, yeah, sure. And um, so I take my phone, and I'll show anyone uh, this photo <laughs> after the show if you want. Like, so Snoop looks really cool, and like, I look fine, but I have a massive booger right here. <laughs> And, uh, and, and, but I'm, you know, and, and, and so I'm like, all right, thanks a lot, Snoop. And, uh, and I, when I start walking away and Snoop starts walking the other way and he gets about like 10 feet away when he goes, excuse me, stop. He didn't mean, did you anyone see that like old seventies Coke commercial with me and Joe Green? Even if you're young, you could have seen it on like YouTube. <laughs> the old people saw it. Um, <laughs> No, but it's just, come on, you'll see, I, all right, fuck that reference. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so he just goes, like, he gets like 10 feet away and he's like, he's like, excuse me, and I'm like, yeah, what, Snoop? And he's like, uh, what's your name, sir? And I'm like, I'm Dave, I'm, I'm Dave Hill. And then Snoop just goes, I'm gonna look out for you. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> this is the best fucking night of my life. Oh my, and I'm thinking like, and like, you know, looking back, like, I realized he was probably just saying like, oh, on the extremely tiny chance that we're ever on the same bill again, I might poke out the dressing room and see you for one second. But like, by the time I was like, I think Snoop's telling me like he's got my back in a sometimes <laughs> cruel and unforgiving world. And uh, I'm like, oh, oh my God, and I'm like freaking out. And I turned to him like, I'm gonna look out for you too, Snoop. <laughs> Only he's blocks away at this point. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you very much. Yeah. Bye.